Whoa! What's that? It's a hundred foot drop. It's two hundred. Ow! What's that for? I'm digging a snow anchor. Okay. What if we fall? There's twenty feet of fresh powder down there. It'll be like landing on a pillow. Hopefully. Hey, Anna. On three. Okay. One. You tell me when. I'm ready to go. Two. I was born ready. Yes. Calm down. What the? Whoa! That happened. Man, am I out of shape. There we go. Hey, Anna! Sven! Where'd you guys go? We totally lost Marshmallow back there. Hey! We were just talking about you. All good things? All good things? No! This is not making much of a difference, is it? So, Chris, I, I'm always amazed at how different audiences, whether they're young or old, could like fall in love with these animated pictures. And I'm wondering, for you, as a youth, what's the first animated movie or character that you really identified with? I really identified with Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I loved the fact that she was a little bit different than all the other Disney female characters I had seen, mm -hmm. that she was a redhead and she was half fish and she wanted more than just Prince Charming, she wanted to see the world. Um, yeah, her or Aladdin. I liked Aladdin a lot too. I didn't know you had so much singing talent and, and it comes out in this movie. I mean, you have some beautiful songs like Let It Go and My First Time in Forever. I wanna know what's the f thing that you've done the first time in forever like lately that was your first time in forever. My first time in forever. Oh, I don't know. I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> I don't have a lot of. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a lot of firsts, I guess, because I have a kid now, and mm. so I, I'm kind of on a, a routine. So you're the mom for a first time. In yeah, forever. yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I, lo I know a lot of audiences, you know, first learned about you and Veronica Mars, and I know that you now have this movie for Veronica Mars coming out. Can you tell us a little about, you know, taking on that role also? And Yeah, I, it was exciting that it actually is real now. We've been talking about making the movie ever since the series was canceled and never, I don't think we ever really thought it would happen, but we didn't lose faith and thankfully neither did the fans and I'm just so, so hopeful that everybody likes it because we really tried to treat the fans as our producers and our bosses, which they were. They funded the movie and we owe it to them and so we're trying to make the best movie we possibly can to satisfy them. Sven, go, go! What are they? Wolves. Wolves? What do we do? I got this. You just don't fall off and don't get eaten. But I want to help! No! Why not? Because I don't trust your judgment. Excuse me? Who marries a man she just met? It's true love! Whoa! 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 Christopher! It's Christoph! Ow! Ah! on fire! But I didn't! <gasps> Get ready to jump, Sven! You don't tell him what to do! Hey! I do! <gasps> jump, Sven! movie deals a lot with um, emotions of love and fear. Yeah. I'm curious for you, what do you think is the more powerful of those emotions, love or fear? Ooh, um, what seems stronger in the moment is definitely fear, but what is the utmost powerful is love. I think the only thing that can totally bash fear is, is love. And I think it, especially nowadays, we're so attuned to fear and people make decisions solely out of fear and people run their lives fear-based and it's it's a nice refreshing thing to see when love can conquer that. Wow. And this movie's coming out for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So my last question to you is, uh, 
for Thanksgiving, what is your holiday go-to dish that you like to eat or that you got that you are, you know, great at preparing? Ooh, I like almost anything with sweet potatoes. Okay. So any sort of sweet potato, pop in some OJ, pop in some maple syrup, extra brown sugar, that's kind of my go-to. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for a great movie. And Thanks. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again.